Hello there, Brian. J. Peterman here. Well, congratulations on your ability to transform your talent into the available means of Zoom and all of the other things that are going on now, replicating and replacing live performance. Well, my friend, good for you. And I would like to share with you probably the best advice that Peterman has ever been given, and it was at a time when he needed it the most. Yes, I remember when I was on the back end of a 13-day Chianti binge. Yes, <laughs> demons were swirling around in my head that weren't even mine. My neck felt like one gargantuan monkey fist. Oh, I was in need of spiritual renewal. But when and where and how? I decided then to travel through the high country of Kathmandu with a team of Sherpas that had hygiene problems I don't even want to go into. But no matter, because I was in search of a man known only as his hisness, a man so spiritual it is said that he actually won a staring competition with his own reflection. And because that's who I was looking for, that is who I found. He was seated in the corner of a small chapel, his legs conveniently folded into a Windsor knot. So I sat down next to him, and I stared into his ice-blue eyes for what seemed like hours, until I could take it no longer. I finally broke the silence and said, Please give me that which I have come for. And with that, Brian. He reached across and slapped me as hard as he could across the face and said, Go fish. Well, I was stunned by the words I had heard. Was this what my soul had been longing to hear? The name of a children's card game? Or was I on the receiving end of the old Tibetan shimsha? Well, I could not be certain. So to be safe on the way out, I toilet papered his pagoda. But his words have echoed thus in my mind ever since, Brian. And now any time my soul is tied in knots, I simply drop what I am doing, smile gently to myself, and I go fish. Because you see, what he was trying to tell me was to stop living in the future, to stop worrying about the past. The future will take care of itself, and the past is no longer my concern but to learn to live in the present moment. Learn the joy of what is happening around you at any one second. And why? Because that's where the fish are. So I pass on that advice to you, my friend. Congratulations on your ability to be nimble and quick. Farewell. And in the words of J. Peterman, fare forward.